this in the game. It's just, it's just terrifying. <laughs> Squirtle is also phenomenal, but we won't see Squirtle from these. No, sir. Bashi Beast. Three, Bashi. Two, PS2, one, where we will see the go. whole set. Uh, the most likely. Yeah, that's... Oh my goodness, look at this damage coming out. Alright, 30%. It's like so awkward, right? How we're conditioned... We're conditioned to think that... That's a double electro shot. Oh, a third one, I thought it was gonna go for a on-stage situation. Or just go for it on-stage raw. We're like weirdly conditioned to think that like 30% or 40%, oh that's nothing. When in previous Smash games, like, oh, 20% combo, that's like pretty good. At least for, at least for maybe Smash 4 and Brawl. Definitely not for Melee. Like, oh, 20% yeah. combo is nothing in Melee. Yeah, Smash 4 and Brawl is a much more, like, adv continuous advantage kind of game where you're setting up ledge trapping or you're keeping, you're keeping a player, like, above you or in a disadvantage state for much longer. While in melee, you pretty much go from neutral to combo state to death. Yeah. Like, there is no advantage, it's just you're being comboed and you either get out of the combo and reset neutral or you die. Yeah, so we saw there, uh, honestly, a really great solid play by Bashi. They were racking up a lot of percent early on and did a really good job of like avoiding a lot of the reversal situations that Beast used to catch its other players with. Oh, but that down air, yeah. Yeah, putting himself up in a, in a spot to cover ledge, which is great and all, but... Beast had his double jump and he used it with great effectiveness and back air, not, not close to the second. Or he missing the second. Those... Okay. Those are like first options. They, that's what makes... It's so hard to challenge a lot of what Charizard does and a lot of what Beast does because oh, that he killed. That was must be bad. Yeah, there is. What's us? Dude, Fozzy's like, doing really well right now. Like, hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> All of these backers have been sour spots as well. F tilt not gonna be able to two frame. Ooh, that's a punish. Never mind. A little bit. That's some kind of flare blitz that Beast will throw out against most other players that I've seen on Wi-Fi brackets, and they usually get hit by it, and that puts him back in the game, but Bashi's just not falling for it. Shout out to Jake Run. Now Bashi from how how long I've been seeing him uh, throughout things like Concrete Throwdown and other locals and all, all these Wi-Fi events, he's proven to be a relatively patient player. Which is good for a player, for a character like Kit, who has decent combos, but is largely a neutral based character. As that up smash still scoops the roll on uh, from ledge. So Randy Flare Blitz doesn't work against a player that, or does, doesn't work against a player who is content to hold himself at a reaction distance and wait for you to throw yourself at him. In for lack of a better phrase. Yeah, de definitely, that's exactly what it is. The Bashi's pace and play style just seems to like already allow him to just react to Flare Blitz and not get hit by it. But he still has to worry about scenarios like that with um with a neutral air where it can create a tech situation. Where yeah, sometimes the Blitz is just guaranteed. Uh oh, that's a Flare Blitz. Uh, oh what an arrow! I, I thought that arrow would have uh, would have set an set the stage for any sort of kill there, since it looks like he took one of Charizard's jumps. Yeah, there, there's also the thing where if you backfill pit off stage, he can just hold away, and it doesn't seem like he has to play the game where. But either that or with the common like he'll drift away, so he doesn't have to worry about like getting back air or down aired, and he can also use the the to beat that out. Nice try. Yeah, pit's new. Pit's like advantageous ability of being able to recover from a long distance like uh, many characters can if you have the recovery distance like, as a as a lucario player it's really interesting to watch like 
players are trying to go out and kill you, right? They're trying to go deep and follow your DI because you're holding away from them. But they always have to make sure that they're within their range for a cover. Recovery, because even you know that you can always make it to ledge if they can't intercept you. And if they go low enough or they go deep enough that you can just move right around them while they are effectively uh, digging their own grave, it's still a stock for you. Right. So, defense in the most pure way of I'm just gonna go all the way over here to where you can't hit. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, I'd definitely say it was a combination of Bashi finding the right openings, but also having amazing defense to not get hit by like the signature beast like comeback tools. Yeah, little little things I would always manage to net him kills. Like uh, he made great use of Pit's wide arcing multi hit up smash to catch beasts that jump jump ins and uh, jumps out of the corner. Because, of course, Charizard is going to be landing with things like back air and air and forward air all the time. Is okay, we're just going to start off swinging. Just run up and up smash you. Yeah, 29% starter, just like the last game. Oh, wow, yeah, the, back air coming out first. The dangers of starting with Charizard is that you have, you're have you signing yourself to... The... Okay. Oh, that time, that back air, back, back throw, back air is going to connect that time. You know, I was going on how, like, starting off Charizard designs you to the thing that heavies are just contracted to do, where they just end up taking 60, and then that's they, because they have to. They're big, and they can combo super easily. And Pokemon Trainer can largely avoid all of that, because it has other Pokemon. But, you know... Beast is just speeding up the process and saying, Hey, I know you can humble me, but I can also kill you now. And so let's just cut to the chase, shall we? <laughs> oh, wow. Electric Shock tried to go for the Electric Shock. Oh, my. There it is. All right. Beast must have caught on to his habits. Because now the, um, now, like, all of the Beast specials are now back online and functioning as intended. Yep. Beast.exe is working here at Fusion.exe. All the programs are running right. Yeah, update downloaded, back online, ready to roll out. I can go on with the technology, but I'm really not for sake of all of us. <laughs> Myself included. And okay. We got a little bit of a oh comeback my. coming through the item store, but this should be just missing the down air two frames. Yeah, see, that, that side B is so risky. And it seems like out of character for like, as we described Bashi's playstyle earlier, he's really patient, but that seems like a really big overextension. Maybe that's, uh, that's the kicker. Because his playstyle is usually so passive and so patient, uh, he got punished for it by shooting that arrow. He got hit by a flare blitz, which powered him through. So instead, what happens if he mixes up his own play style a little bit and starts to try and catch a little bit more landings and some of these double jumps by holding forward with a little bit of neutral air and going deep off stage? Yeah, and and it's very oh yeah, and that's, that covers a lot. And oh, managed that... a little bit of a comeback, but yeah. it's very clear with like the way Beats plays that. The playstyle Bashi was using earlier has been figured out, so that side beat may be a sign of just him adapting his play playstyle in general. And he didn't manage to bring it back. Uh, the last stock, B still uh, edged it out the window. Yeah, I'm. It was. It's something where like the IV S smash that life has become so infamous because of how much it covers. It covers roll, covers neutral get up, like. Uh, if you really attack. time it, it can get up attack, it covers jump if you time it super well. To the point where all he needed to do was wait. Wait for it to release and then he can jump. So, it's something that is so, like, oh, I shouldn't have been hit by that. Move into game three. That, that is now fresh in his mind. Hopefully, he, what's also fresh in his mind is 
some of the Charizard ledge trapping and edge guarding full charge that beast tends to pull out on susceptible recoveries, such as pits. Pull that grab. Got Charizard, okay. Big tail. <gasps> oh, okay. Alright. The armor. I was, I was like, my. You can't see it, but my eyebrows raised real quick. <laughs> Yeah, that was almost an amazing edge guard for Bashi, but you gotta take into account Charizard armor has up B. Or not up B. <laughs> Charizard armor does have up B. No, and Charizard has <laughs> Yep, Sheik does play Void. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that up smash anti air almost caught him. No. Again, calling out the arrow with the flare blitz. None of these dashback arrows. Your comfort button is not anymore. That's like that's what actually really does make Beast such a terror on Wi-Fi. Uh, is that a lot of the frequent Wi-Fi players in PCA almost a pair of jab locks. Is that Wi-Fi players will almost always have a like a button, a, a safety net in neutral for lack of better phrase. For Bashi it's been proven to be like that back arrow. Right, like, yeah. you'll, you, you'll see like Rob has a uh, top. Uh, certain charge characters will like jump away and charge their uh, their projectile, whether it be like, War Sphere, Shadow Ball, Thunder, what have you. Beast is proven time and time again to figure out what your safety net button is, what your like happy place. Oh my goodness. Wow, he led on the stage really quickly. Yeah. Bosh, he kind of made that whole string count, and suddenly this game is back to a relative even state. Chase going through. Oh, that's, oh that was a, that was that's a rich. Everyone usually gets one of those, but it looks like Bosh used his up already uh, in the previous set with new. the down air there, but good delay on Bashi's part. Not too, he's not too far from gone from this, as long as he can get out of some of the back throw combo percents. Bashi's doing a really good job mixing up the timing on his up beat. He hasn't been down aired yet. Not yet, but we do know that Beast is looking for the kill right now. He's got Bashi in a corner who looks like he fought his way out of it only to get Flare Blitz back off stage. That's a little... that's so rough to think. Oh, I just got back to center too. Right, both these players going... <laughs> going high. That's bad. So just got big feet. Oh, oh yeah, Miss Basic. Yeah. And you know he's got a big tail too. Sour Spot will still kill at 130, 140, whatever it was after the hit. As a Beast holds on to his second stock and uh, takes the game and the set 2 1.